computer and its parts. Computer is one of the most powerful invention in human history. We are all familiar with what a computer is in a specific and contemporary sense. Personal computers are found in most aspects of daily life. And now it is hard to even imagine a word without them. The term computer means more than simply the PCs we know of. A computer is at its most basic a machine which can take instructions and perform computations based on those instructions. Evolution of computer The first use of the word computer was recorded in 1613 and referring to a person who carried out calculations or computations and the word continued to be used in that sense until the middle of the 20th century. In human history, the first electronic computers were developed in the mid 20th century that is 1942-1945 and these were the size of a large room and consuming as much power as several hundred modern personal computers nowadays would need. These days, many computers are small enough to fit into small pocket and can be powered by a small battery. The question is, what is computer? While the conceptual idea behind a computer was developed in the 19th century and the first electronic computer was developed in the 1940s. Early computers used mechanical relays and vacuum tubes which were replaced by transistors and later by integrated circuits which led to the microprocessor we used today. So, computers are not very intelligent device, but they handle instructions flawlessly and fast. They must follow explicit directions from both the user and computer programmer. Who is a computer programmer? Who is writing a program in the language and can be converted into the machine language that the computer understands. Computers are really nothing more than a very powerful calculator with some great accessories. Okay, and we can take some examples like the word processing and games. Even we can use a computer to type the document, send the emails and serve the internet. Software and Hardware the software is a set of very simple computer instructions carefully organized to complete the complex task and these instructions are written in programming languages. If you use a player piano as an analogy, the piano can be thought of as the hardware and the music as the software. So, the player piano is useless unless the music has been played correctly. So, and the, what the programming language? The programming language written in like the, we can take the example, basic Pascal C, C++, Python to help simplify the development of the applications. And what are the hardware? The hardware is what you can see and touch. It executes the software instructions. What are the example of hardwares like the keyboard, mouse, system unit, joystick, printer, etc. Input device. An input device is any device that is used to enter the data into your computer. For example, a keyboard and a mouse are the standard ways to interact with the computer. 
Other devices include joysticks and game pads used primarily for games. In the input devices, a keyboard is used to enter the name, roll number. Okay, so whatever the information we can feed, we can type with the help of keyboard. And with the help of mouse, you can point out on your desktop object or icons. Okay, so you can select with the help of clicking. So we can say mouse is also a pointing device. And the scanner is also an input device. With the help of scanner, you can scan any paper and the whatever the instruction or information written on the particular paper, we can scan and save the in a particular file. Output device. It gives out the result. Data generated by a computer is referred to as output. Devices that produce physical output from the computer are called output devices. The most commonly used output devices is the computer's monitor which displays data on a screen. When we result see on the monitor in the computer term we call it a soft copy. And devices such as the printer and speakers are some other common output devices. Then we were taking the output or answer on a paper with the help of a printer we called as a hard copy. Storage devices. It saves the data and programs in the devices. Hard disk drive is an internal higher capacity drive which is used to store the data as well as the operating system which runs when you power on the computer and the floppy disk drive allows you to save work on small disk and take the data with you compact disk and pen drive are few other storage devices these storage devices are also known as the secondary memory the information stored in it is permanent in nature. Memory It is also known as internal memory or main memory. When you use a program, the computer loads it from the hard disk to the much faster memory that we call the RAM, random access memory. And when you save your work, or quit the program or close the program, the data gets written back to the hard disk. This part of the memory comes with the computer and carries the data and instructions during the processing. This part of memory is active only when the computer is working and when you shut down the computer, all the data is deleted from it. That's why we call it a temporary or a volatile memory also. This memory is also known as the primary memory and the information stored in it in temporary and is lost when the power supply is switched off. And these are classified into the two uh, types that is RAM, random access memory and ROM, read only memory. microprocessor the brain of the computer a microprocessor is also called a logic chip it contains all the functions performed by central processing unit that is cpu and it starts working when you turn your computer on a microprocessor is designed to perform arithmetic and logic unit and the typical microprocessor operations include adding, subtracting, comparing two numbers that we call the logical calculations and other calculations. Megahertz is the unit of internal processor speed in which computer instructions are performed. Some of the computer software. Computer software is a set of programs to perform various types of 
operations so now we just understand some different type of computer software computer games it is a form of entertainment software and some of these games include online games action games and adventure games driver software these are the programs that allow a computer to interact with additional hardware devices such as the printer scanner and video cards and educational software programs and games that teach the user or provides drills to help memorize facts the range of educational software is diverse and can teach anything from computer related activities like typing to higher education subjects like chemistry math science etc media players and media development software these are the software which are designed to play and or edit digital media files such as music and videos